guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and we're getting ready to make smoked sausage, potatoes, and peppers. Oh my goodness, it is so delicious. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell, make sure it's set to all so you'll always get my videos every time I upload one. And then just keep hanging around the channel because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. We are back and we're going to go over the ingredients for our smoked sausage, potatoes, and peppers. First of all, let's start off with the star of the dish, our smoked sausage. Now I'm using Eckridge smoked sausage. This is pork smoked sausage, but if you don't eat pork, don't want pork, feel free to substitute beef sausage or turkey. So you have no excuse on that end. Okay, we're also going to be using a mix of colored peppers. I have red, green, and orange. We've got some cooked and crumbled bacon. I'm using a red and yellow onion and some potatoes. We've got to have our potatoes. Now these are just small regular white potatoes. You can use any kind of potatoes you like. I've got some homemade garlic powder and onion powder made from the garlic and onion I grew in my garden as well as some dry thyme from the thyme I grew in my garden. So just use whatever you have, garlic, onion powder, and some thyme. Of course, we'll need our salt and pepper. Okay, I think that's it. Time for us to get all of this chopped and prepped so we can get this thing. I'll be back. So the first thing we're going to do is peel and cut our potatoes. You can use a potato peeler. I like to use a paring knife. What you want to do is as you cut and peel your potatoes, make sure that you put them in cold water until they are ready to use. That way they won't turn brown on you. We're gonna rinse our potatoes off until they are absolutely clear in the water. The water is absolutely clear so that you won't have all that starch on your potatoes. So let's go ahead and get these all cut up. a tablespoon of oil in our skillet and let it heat up. Okay, our skillet should be nice and hot. We're gonna add our smoked sausage in. Just wanna cook this until it's nice and golden brown on both sides. And remember guys, just come back to the video, drop down in the description and you will see all the exact measurements and ingredients for this dish. We are good and brown. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is a one skillet uh, dish. So we're gonna be cooking everything in this one skillet. Go ahead and remove your sausage. Drain it on some paper towels so that when we add it back in, it will not be greasy. Now we're gonna go in with our potatoes. Cook those until they are nice and brown as well. They're going to pick up all the color and the flavor from the sausages, and that's exactly what you want. Okay, we'll be back when they start to become tender. Okay, our potatoes are looking good and they are smelling even better. I wish you guys could smell this. Now we're going to go in with just a couple of tablespoons of butter, adding that extra layer of flavor for our veggies. Before we add in our veggies, and while we let our butter melt in here, we're gonna go ahead and get everything all seasoned up.
So now I'm going to add in just a little bit of onion powder. Garlic powder. Thyme. Himalayan salt. Black pepper. Go ahead and give this a good stir. Man, this smells good. Now we're going to add in all of our veggies. Now I'm going to show you a little trick in the end. So hang in there with me till the end so that you can see exactly what we're going to be doing. Go ahead and give this a stir and let those veggies start to cook down some. Oh my goodness, the color, the smell. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious! Now I'm going to go in with just a few red pepper flakes, just to kick up the heat a notch. Just a few red pepper flakes. If you don't want the, a little kick in there, then you can simply just leave those out. Now we're going to go in with our bacon. Oh my goodness, guys, everything is better with bacon. Oh my goodness. Again, if you don't want the pork, you can leave it out or you can use turkey bacon. Now let's go ahead and add our sausage back in. And draining on these paper towels. Go ahead and get that in. Oh my goodness, this is looking and smelling amazing. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to let this cook just a minute, and then I'm going to show you a little trick to make sure all these flavors blend in together. We'll be back. Okay, so I promised you all a little trick, and that trick is to take the top of your pot and just run it under the water, get it really good and wet, let all the water drip out, let it all drip out, and then place it right on your skillet. Turn your skillet off and let it sit for at least five minutes. Let it sit for at least five minutes or until you are ready for it. And guys, when you make this dish and people ask you, oh my goodness, where did you get this recipe from? Tell them cooking at Pam's Place. Please share this video out so that everybody can enjoy it too. And if you make it, be sure to tag me on IG at Cooking at Pam's Place. Okay, we have been sitting five minutes with our top on. I just took the top off. This is looking delicious. And we are all done. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Oh my goodness, I have got to taste this. Mm, mm, mm. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious.